million of us. We're in your offices. In your bars. In your chickens. We're in your living room, kicking your ass at Madden 2010. We're at your mom's house, making our air tight. Whoa, bro. The time has come. The time has come for a change. For too long, you've told me to shut the fuck up. Calm down, and you're the one with your elbow over the table. The people who are different from me matter. That laughing at my own jokes doesn't make them funny. <laughs> you can't keep us down anymore. We are douchebags. We are douchebags. We're douchebags. All right, that was just a small clip. Um, basically, douchebags explaining what they do and how happy they are about being a douchebag. Um, you are college students, and you probably have encountered. Or, or are going to encounter douchebags somewhere in your co in your college career. <laughs> Having dealt with them for several years, you know, I was kind of interested, so I had to compile a little bit of research, and I'm going to present that here to you today. Um, today we'll speak to you about what a douchebag is, including the several subtypes of douchebag, um, how to identify a douchebag, and how not to become a douchebag. So, start with what a douchebag is. Um, Urban Dictionary defines douchebag as an individual who has an overinflated sense of self-worth compounded by a low level of intelligence, behaving ridiculously in front of colleagues with no sense of how moronic he appears. I feel that that is pretty accurate. Uh, moving on to a couple of subtypes of douchebag. The first one is the egocentric douchebag. Um, remember the child who was always running around the party screaming, look at me, look at me, mom, dad, pay attention to me? At 20 years, you have your egocentric douchebag. Um, they are completely dependent on what others think of them and how they are perceived. Concerned about world hunger? Well, who gives a shit? He's banged like 20 chicks, so. Um, the next subtype is the weightlifting douchebag. Working out at the gym is his full-time job. Literally his full-time job, he is always there. I am actually have a quote from an online forum of a, douche, a weightlifting douchebag's girlfriend. She says, he refused to have sex with me because he had to let his rest, muscles rest for tomorrow. <laughs> the only thing this guy loves more than working out is looking at himself in a mirror in a sleepless tea. I'm um, the next douchebag is the drunken douchebag. This is the guy walking around at a party who's had maybe two beers 15 minutes in and claims to be completely drunk and then six hours later after 18 beers claims to be completely sober and can, and can drive. We all know that's not true. Often I uttering the phrase, dude, I drink so often that it would take much more alcohol to get me drunk. This is nothing. <laughs> the next one is the most, kind, the most common kind of douchebag, the raging douchebag. Do not accidentally bump into him. Do not get near him. Do not think about getting near him. Do not talk to his girlfriend. In fact, don't even talk to any girl at the party because at one point in time, they may have been his girlfriend or are going to become his girlfriend, and that's a problem. So go into a rage. A raging douchebag's rage can consist of screaming threats of physical violence, throwing things, throwing punches, attempting to throw you out. The possibilities for violence from this douchebag are endless. Um, identifying the raging douchebag is pretty simple. He's the one screaming and attempting to fight the invisible guy next to him while the rest of the party stands confused. <laughs> the final douchebag is the aging douchebag. <laughs> Everybody knows this guy. The guy on the front porch to the man on TV. Um, he's always trying to make things awkward for everybody else, whether he's complaining about his coupons not scanning, the accents in America, how that damn hip-hop music is too loud, how things were better in his time, or how the world is just simply out to get them. Um, so we've just gone over what a douchebag is in general and subtypes. I'd like to explain um, how you know when a douchebag is present, and then we can move on to preventative measures for becoming a douchebag. How to spot a douchebag. There are a couple of points I want to hit on is the hat tip at the perfect angle, the popped collar, the stupid ass grin, the Chinese lettering on his left arm, and too long in the tanning bed. A couple of features not found on this slide are the fish lips, the several popped collars, and the spray tan on nightmares. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, as we all do when we get up in the morning, what if I wake up blind tomorrow? How will I know there's a douchebag present? Well, there are a couple key phrases you can pay attention for. The phrase, yeah, do work, is a pretty good one. Also made up words like ridiculous. There it is. Um, location where you're at. If you're at a party where there's a keg and there's beer pong going on, that's we're more likely to have douchebags there than if you're at home, you know, Thanksgiving with the family. Um, smell is a dead giveaway. They usually douse themselves in Axe or in Cologne before they leave. <laughs> douchebags tend to travel in what I call packs. 
So if you see one, be on the lookout for several others. Also, <laughs> if they claim they were on the Jersey Shore or from the Jer Jersey Shore, <laughs> no questions asked. <laughs> So I've just talked to you about what a douchebag is and how to identify a douchebag. Pretty sure most of you don't want to be douchebags, so we'll see how we can not be douchebags. A um, couple things to avoid. You want to avoid popped collars. You want to avoid excessive hair gel. If your hair looks like it could saw through wood, wash it off, try again. Um, body spray again, avoid too much. The Asian tattoos, yeah, you can avoid it. Um, if your shirt has buttons, use them. Guy in the upper left hand, I don't know why he's unbuttoned. I guess he's just too awesome to use them and feels the need not to. Um, avoid the pouty lips, the tanning, and the guy. Just avoid the guy in the lower right hand corner. Just avoid all of that in its entirety. Um, douchebags, you may know, you've got Kanye West, Donald Trump, Dane Cook, and of course Robert Pattinson. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I confirmed them as douchebags. That's unfortunate. Um, remember, being a dick once is only temporary. Being a douchebag is a lifestyle. One mistake will not screw you forever. Making continuous mistakes and douchebaggy moves will. Um, so this afternoon I've talked to you about what a douchebag is, their subclasses, how to identify a douchebag, and how to prevent yourself from being a douchebag. And I want to leave you with some quotes from douchebags. <laughs> it's semi-frustrating when your name becomes a synonym for douchebag. Master Simpson's now husband. I understand it's spelled wrong. I spell checked it and went didn't go through. Um, and also David Hasselhoff, there are many children out there dying whose last wish is to meet me. So. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God.